Great is your mercy. Great is your mercy. When we think of the mercy and the love of God, gratitude and joy just fills up our heart because we can't help but sing praises unto the Lord when we know that, you know, sometimes we're not deserving of God's mercy, but he steps in and he shows us his great, great mercy. You know, God's mercy is his compassion reaching out. It is God giving us the right to continue in his love and in his life. That is mercy, to continue in God's love and his life. You know, the scripture says that mercy must be shown to those who are ignorant and out of the way. And I can remember when I was ignorant and out of the way. And ignorant of my ignorance. <laughs> you know, pride can fill our hearts when we're ignorant of God's ways. And I remember when I was in an accident, I could have died. God stepped in with his mercy. I didn't deserve it, but he stepped in and he saved my life. And if I had, had died at that time, I would not be ready to meet the Lord. I would be in hell. And God, and even after the accident, I was still puffed up. And God could find his true intercessors, his, his true servants to come and meet me. And I wasn't very nice. My words were harsh. But he had persons to come to me who could stand in that gap and be patient and love me through, through, through my mess. Because when we're... When we don't know, when we're out of the way, we're not nice. We're puffed up and, and we attack those who God has sent into our lives to rescue us. But thank God for his patience. Thank God for his love, who he can find faithful persons to always rescue the perishing. And as we look at the cross, the death, burial and resurrection of Christ, we see the judgment of God because God 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 has to judge sin because he's just and God says the soul that sinned shall surely die and there on the cross the full judgment of God came across sin but God in his mercy made a way before by his by the life of his son Christ Jesus who absorbed the full blast of the wrath of God and opened up the door to eternity his, his the salvation where we partake of the divine life of Christ. <laughs> the divine life of Christ. And there's a scripture in 1 John 5, verse 11 and 12. And it says, And this is the record that God has given to us eternal life. And this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son of God has life. And he that has not the Son of God has not life. And this is a beautiful life. It is the life of God that he allows us to partake of in salvation and you know the enemy will come and he will he will speak to many today who are backsliders who are sinners many are indifferent many don't care but you know God has made a way by repentance into his glorious life and you know something about God he doesn't hold the sin against us he has made a way by repentance. And any sinner today, it doesn't matter the sin. It doesn't matter what you have done. Backsliders who are out there feeling guilty. It doesn't matter. God has made a way by the cross. He has made a way by the life of Christ. And once we truly repent in a split second, God will restore us. So today, if you're out there and you're feeling guilty, you're feeling that there's no way my sin is too great. God said this, if it was all, if it was you alone, if it was for me alone, for you alone, he would come. He came to seek and save that which is lost. So there is no pit that is too deep. His love dies deep and rescues us. So all you have to do today, sinner friend, those backsliders, those who are out of the way, is to humble, just humble, humble yourself and say, God, I am sorry. I am sorry, have mercy on me. Look at this, the thief on the cross. There came a point when the thief on the cross looked and saw God and said, Oh, remember me. He was dying, his life was bleeding away. And he looked on Jesus and saw the mercy and said, Remember me. And in that minute, God says, Today you shall be with me in paradise. So, remember. You know, life happens and it happens fast. And in that split second, 
All we can do is say, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost interprets that Jesus. Sometimes all we can say is, Jesus, have mercy, or thank you for your mercy. And in that split second, God comes in and he rescues us. So today, today make it that day that doesn't pass by. Don't be indifferent to God. Do not be indifferent. His love is calling out. His love is beseeching. He's beseeching us to come into the ark of safety. His mercy never runs out. And there's a, there is, in the scripture, it says in Psalm 59 verse 16, But I will sing of your power. God is a powerful God. Yes, I will sing aloud when we're partakers of God's mercy. It makes us sing aloud of your mercy. In the morning, we will sing aloud. All day, we will sing aloud. And the scripture in Psalm 59 verse 16 says, But I will sing of your power. Yes, I will sing aloud of your mercy in the morning. For you have been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. How many of us can testify that God has been our defense? I can testify that God is my defense. In my day of trouble, God came and he rescued me. And he can do that today in a split second. Just call for his mercy. His mercies are new every morning. He has an endless economy, a vault, endless supply of mercy. And he's ready to save all of us. He's ready for us to continue in the life of Christ. But he has made a provision. He says, ask for my mercy. Come and ask. Ask for my mercy. I'm always there, ready to seek and to save. Ready to give you the abundant life, my abundant life. So today, don't delay. Let the mercy of God come and rescue you. Rescue all of us into his love, into his abundant life. Today, don't delay. It's too beautiful of a life to dismiss, to ignore. It's a life that must be embraced with our heart, with our soul and our mind. Come into that life today. Thank you.